In this short video, we will try to discuss the concept of volume mounting in Docker. So what is volume mounting? Basically what volume mounting means is that your Docker container as well as your host operating system will share the same directory or the same volume on the disk of your host operating system. And in this way, the Docker container achieves data persistence because essentially the data is getting stored on the host operating system. The next time a container restarts, it can make use of the same directory and can make use of all the contents of that directory and hence its data is persistent. Let's try to understand the same thing by means of a few examples. So here I am, I am at my terminal. And let's say I run a image of Ubuntu. Okay, so my container will get started here. I have used the interactive and the terminal flag so that I can give standard input in the terminal. Um, let's say um, these are all my directories here. Uh, suppose I go to the home directory and I say uh, okay let's create a file here touch a dot txt um, and let's echo some content into this file uh, if i cat this i can see that the contents of this file are one two three now let's say suppose i exit my container and Let's say, suppose I rerun my container and I go to the same path, which is slash home and I say ls. Well, um, this, the file that I created in the last example is not there. But what, what do I do if I say want to persist this data across many times when I run this container? Let us quickly see how we can achieve that by means of volume mounting. Uh, one more time, I will exit this and again I will run the Ubuntu container but this time I will give it a certain flag which is the minus V or you can also write it as minus minus volume they mean the same thing and I will say that my present working directory pwd should be mapped to the slash home directory in the docker container. So uh, before uh, I go any further, let me show you what are the contents of $PWD and this is my present working directory. So I take this command again and let me also show you the contents of this file, uh, this directory. Um, so this directory contains just a single file which is docker-compose.yaml. I run the above docker command and what I'm saying is that mount the present working directory which in this case is this directory you can also supply this name directly over here to the slash home directory in my container i say enter and let's see ls so if i go into the home directory and i say ls see i i see the exact same contents of my host operating system inside of my container because I am running the container with a mounted volume. Now suppose I say again touch a.txt and I echo something into this file. I cat this to check the contents and yeah a.txt contains the string 123. If I exit this I am back in my operating system and I say ls and very well i can see that a.txt is right here so i created this file inside the container and if i see now my containers have stopped but the data that i created using that container is persistent if i say cat a.txt it shows me the contents of that file as one two three which is exactly what we created inside the container and suppose i again start the same container and I mount the same volumes that I did last time as you can see here what will happen let's quickly check so I'm inside my container and I say slash cd home 
and I say ls and indeed a.txt and docker compose.yml are right here. I say cat a.txt and I can see that the contents are there. Again, let us echo something more into the a.txt file. Let me cat it and uh, okay, so the contents of the file got replaced. Uh, I will exit my container and what happens now when I cat it in my host operating system, I see that the contents have changed. So this is how volume mount can help us achieve data persistence while working with Docker containers. Now here someone might be wondering in what use cases can volume mounting be helpful for me. For this, I'd like to give a very simple example. Say, suppose we are running a, a MySQL server using Docker. If we don't use volume mounting, all, all the data that we insert into the database over the course of our usage will be lost as soon as the container stops. But if we do decide to go with volume mounting, the data will be persistent in our local disk and hence we can use it again and again as we restart and stop and uh, destroy our containers. Our data is not gone anywhere and it is totally persistent. So this is one example where uh, volume mounting can help us a lot in data persistence and hence it can also enhance our productivity. And that's it for this time guys. And I'm really sure that all of you will find this simple and small concept very helpful and very powerful while working with containers. Uh, do tell me in the comments below what other features of Docker do you like and which make your life easier and make Docker such an awesome tool. If you found the content of the video helpful, please do give it a like. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. Like always, thanks a lot for watching.